In the early morning of November 29th, President Trump retweeted three videos. The videos are clearly inflammatory and anti-Muslim. They're also unverified and misrepresent events. So how did the president end up tweeting them to his almost 44 million followers? First, let's look at the account behind the original tweets. Jada Franson is the leader of the far-right group Britain First. Britain First calls itself a political party, but has been widely condemned as an extremist group that targets Muslims. Franson was convicted of harassment last year for verbally abusing a Muslim woman in England. She was arrested in October for violating the terms of her bail by appearing on a neo-Nazi radio show. We don't know for sure how she came to Trump's attention, but we know he only follows 45 people on Twitter, including conservative commentator Ann Coulter, who retweeted one of the videos one day before Trump. Now let's look at the videos themselves. The first video claims to show a Muslim migrant beating up a Dutch boy on crutches. According to Dutch police, two teenagers were arrested in May in relation to the incident after the video surfaced on a Dutch website. Police gave no indication that the arrested teenagers were immigrants or Muslims. The second retweet is a video titled, Muslim Destroys a Statue of Virgin Mary. The video has been misattributed several times. For example, in January 2015, a version of the video on LiveLeak said it was shot in Perugia, Italy. In fact, the video is believed to have been shot in Syria in 2013. The man does not identify himself, but says in Arabic that he rejects the worship of idols or anything other than God. Franson captioned the final video, Islamist mob pushes teenage boy off roof and beats him to death. The video of the rooftop mob dates to July 2013 and was reportedly filmed in Alexandria, Egypt, shortly after the military overthrew Muslim Brotherhood President Mohamed Morsi. The coup set off weeks of protests and violent clashes between Morsi's supporters on one side and Egyptian security forces and military backers on the other. Two supporters of Morsi were later sentenced to death for killing the two youths thrown off the building. Following Trump's retweets, Franson boasted about the president's apparent endorsement. The tweets have been widely condemned in British and American media. In a statement, the British Prime Minister's office said Trump was wrong to share the videos from a group that promotes hateful narratives. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders defended Trump's retweets. Uh, look, I'm not talking about the nature of the video. I think you're focusing on the wrong thing. The threat is real, and that's what the president is talking about. The president has a history of retweeting other controversial supporters, including white supremacists and neo-Nazis.